Well, good morning from Baywatch on the Beach, a cafe that is not open, but it's got some tables where I've been sitting for the last 20 minutes or so, taking pictures of the sunrise. Uh, I hope uh, they've come out all right. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit hazy and that's, uh, that's creating a nice light. Gonna head down onto the beach, and uh, you see how many, how wet, as it were, the sand is. Now the tide is coming in, uh, but I'm gonna go down to the water's edge, I think, and see if I can get some of the light on these sand pools, <laughs> rock pools. Right. The old church tower, uh, the holiday park, the caravans there are lit up nicely by the morning sun. It's becoming a bit less hazy and I think it's going to be a glorious day. You see we've got the uh, row of old railway carriages which are now beach huts and then some more colourful ones there at the end of, oh, towards the end of the seawall. Right, this one. See the groin doing its job here retaining the beach and you can see how much higher the sand is on this side and on the other side so there's a bit of a drop yeah that's what they're built to do retain the beach and protect the seawall coastal erosion is a fairly major concern here on the Isle of Wight bits bits of the island drop into the sea every year and are washed away Now, it's the first day of March, St David's Day in Wales, where I spent the years two until 12. Uh, and then my Welsh, I know I did learn it in primary school, is virtually non-existent. I can count to 10 in Welsh. Um, so maybe, hopefully find some daffodils uh, to photograph a bit later on, uh, which I always associate with St David's Day. And the first day of meteorological spring, astronomical spring of course, starts on either the 20th or the 21st of March, but meteorological spring starts today. <laughs> and though this cold biting wind, it doesn't quite feel like it at this time in the morning, I'm sure it will later on in the day. First day of March, and of course March, going back to the very earliest Roman calendars, uh, was the first month of the year, uh, named after Mars, the god of war. Uh, it kind of marked the start, I believe, of the fighting season in Roman times, and they were of course very good at fighting. Uh, and I'm really liking the way these uh, beach huts are lit up uh, in the morning light. I think I'm going to move away from the beach and head out over the Dover um, because some of that looks to be lit up really nicely. Uh, some of the houses on the hill, some of the way the dunes are here. So maybe, uh, maybe I should do this. Also, the wind is a bit less here, so uh, my hands are freezing. I think it's going to rise to maybe 11, 12 degrees today, but at the moment it's probably more like three or four, and there's quite a strong wind, and it's uh, very, uh, very cold. Now I must find some daffodils as I said it's a photograph from St David's Day in die twee pedwa pim 
Que scythe oith now deg or something like that. You never know. That might be right. It might not be. About the sum total of my Welsh. So this is quite a nice section of the causeway here. Good job it's got some uh, handrails. Maybe there'll be some daffodils in one of the gardens as I, or by the side of the road as I head towards St Helens that way. Uh, we'll see. We have some daffodils. They look quite nice against the white stones, the chalk stones. Right. That gate looks up quite nicely as well. Right, let's try this. Pop, pop out here at St. Helens Green. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, got a football pitch. Got a cricket pitch on the next green across. So, so I'm just trying a few round here around St Helens Green. So so nice the light. Uh, going around to the vine in here. Um, cherry blossom. Sophie De, uh, Dawes, daughter of Richard Dawes, fisherman and smuggler known as the Queen of Chantilly, was born here in 1792. So the house is at least that old, could be considerably older I guess. Right, 1792, just after America got its independence. Is that, is that the year Washington there? Uh, no, 1789 maybe. Anyways, around that time. 1776, the Declaration of Independence. Spring in the air. And it hasn't really felt like it this morning, the, uh, the cold wind. Um, one of my favourite artists, probably the, my favourite artist, if truth be told. I love to see the words of one of his songs. I love to see cottonwood blossom in the early spring. I love to see message of love that the bluebird brings. Right, so I'm almost back at the car, so seems like a good time to wave goodbye and say thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.